Hello and welcome to my channel, Blue Snakes and More. Today we're going to be talking about a recently closed restaurant in Springfield, Illinois. So please like my channel and for more videos like this, also watch my other half channel, a and Snakes and Stuff, my youngest son's channel, Henny's Toys and Games, or my older son's channel, Little Kristen. Now let's dive into the video. When D3 returns to Springfield Southside, under new ownership this week after being shattered since January. Putman LLC, an, an affiliate of Mena Hospitality Group in Louisville, Kentucky, the Louisville, Kentucky-based company founded by former NBA player Ulysses Jr. Bridgman, is responsible for bringing back Wendy's signature square hamburger patties to 12 50 Toronto Road. A June 12th opening is planned. Dine-in is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. The drive through window will be open from 6.30 a.m. to midnight, Sunday through Thursday, and 6.30 to 1 a.m. Friday and Saturday. Online ordering and delivery is available through the Wendy's app. Wendy's is only one of many national brands in Mena Hospitality Group's holdings, other national brands in the company's portfolio, portfolio include for Lanzies and Jimmy John's, Bridgman, an East Chicago native who spent the bulk of his 12 years in the NBA with the Milwaukee Bucks, owned three Wendy's locations before making his exit from the NBA in 1987. He expanded the business to more than 160 Wendy's stores before selling his restaurant holdings in 2016. His son, Ryan Bridgman, is president of the company. The Wendy's on Toronto Road was one of the casualties following Florida-based franchise Starboard Group filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Protection last fall. The fast food site closed in January. Wendy's was operated from the Toronto Road address since 2006. Prior to that, however, the building housed another fast food brand, Burger King. Springfield Restaurant taking to the streets for now. Twisted Folk. Twisted Fork at the St. Nicholas ended its short run downtown Wednesday, but owners promise this isn't the end of their elevated take on comfort food classics. The food truck will be ready this fall, and we would love to reopen in another permanent location with better traffic, more parking, Amanda Sander said prior to the downtown restaurant's final day of Operation Wednesday. Sander operated the restaurant at 400 East Jefferson Street with her husband, Jared Sander, in October. You don't want this to be the last. We don't want this to be the last of Twisted Fork. The Twisted Fork food truck menu will include the elevated burgers and sandwiches fans have come to enjoy, but the award winning macaroni and cheese dishes will be absent. It's just not possible to maintain the quality for those dishes in a food truck, Sandra said. <clears throat> there are no set plans on when or where, where or when Twisted Fork might settle into a new permanent address. We had a wonderful partnership at the St. Nicholas. They were very supportive of us, she said. It just takes longer to get going than we had funds for. <clears throat> We're saddened, but we certainly want to do something again in the future. Twisted Fork at the St. Nicholas operated eight months from the restaurant space in the St. Nicholas apartment building. Building owner Mitch King said a search for a new tenant is underway for the building. Originally, the St. Nicholas Hotel, which is on the National Registry of Historic Places, the Venture was the Sanders' first restaurant, 
but the couple of previously fed Springfield Diners beer Papa B. Pence at George Ranks after winning a macaroni and cheese competition held at the South 6th Street Bar. Sanders said she doesn't foresee returning to pop up events. Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.